Next to the last room, down and done. This floor, obviously, believe it or not, the Blue Healer puppies did that. They peeled up this old ceramic tile floor a chunk at a time and then chewed up. Yes, that's you. There's Mr. Hodgins, Constable Hodgins, the 69-pound Blue Healer. You're not supposed to be that big. The doctor said he was overweight. I don't see that. Five pounds, four pounds on that dog, you'd be seeing his ribs. That's what they desire, I think, these days. So anyway, there's our tiny, tiny, tiny little kitchen in the Willow Isle. I have cooked meals here for eight years. And we put this really cool countertop in, what, last year, year and a half ago? There's my oven. I have a little, tiny, little countertop oven. There's no oven. Over here. That's the gas cooktop. And uh, we put that cooktop and that range hood in. Last of the red enamel pans. We're going to get rid of that. The window box. And that's it. That is That was our entire pantry and kitchen for eight years. But, hey, we made really groovy stuff in this kitchen. I'll show you a glimpse of the mess over there. And what, Do you approve? Yes, thank you. So that's all that's left. A little bit of furniture and the, uh, the old queen-size bed from down here. We're going to get uh, our flooring dude. There's the pee pads for the doggies in case they get excited. Our guy in North Grumberdale. Landry Flooring is going to put that same black uh, tile that we put in upstairs in Woodstock. So there it is. There's the entire Willow Wild kitchen. Soon to be painted again. We're going to get that icicle color that almost white all throughout. Thank you very much. So there you have it. That's the entire Willow Wild. A little bit of stuff left in the house over there. As you can see, hasn't been painted in eight years. We'll work on that. There's a little bit of stuff over there. Those tubs are all empty. Go back. We just ran out of stuff to put in them. Now, there it is. That's the entire downstairs. You've seen the little wild for what it is. It's a little post and bean cottage. One bedroom, one and a half bath on 11 acres in the wetlands of Connecticut. Your very own swamp all the way to the Quinnebog River. The floor's all shiny because it's wet. I just mopped it. But there you go. What you think? Now you've seen the whole operation. The little while. Thank you very much. Me too. I'm tired. So here it is, here's the upstairs, second floor, at the Willow Wild. We're gonna paint this up, it needs paint badly. It's a cool little post and bean house, built in 1988. And that's the wilderness out there. This, uh, this property goes 11 acres. Almost all the way to the Quinnebog River that way. And the floor's all wet. Me and Lucy been mopping up here. We put our military training to work. With the mop and the broom. So that's it. Oh, here comes Mr. Hodgie. He's going to say, Boy, it smells like pine salt up here. What is this? There we go. You guys remember what? Three years ago we did this bathroom. It still looks really good. We're going to do a big reveal today. We'll clean it up a little bit better. And we'll show that. There's, there's the way beyond. That's the desk. That, uh, that's as far as I can get it with one person today. There you go. There's our fiber. We're going to do the icicle over here in a matte finish. What do you think? The middle of that. So here we have it. This is the soft underbelly of the Willow Wild cellar. Ground floor. It's a little damp. This is damp over here. That's new. That's we, it, This is all about our poor drainage up high. Used to get damp over there, but not today. 
See, we have fairly new washer and dryer. Here's a cool ass thing. This is Richard the First's 19th century cast iron drafting table. It's a little wonky and the top really needs to be completely sanded down and refinished. But yeah, that's a cool piece. Here's more cool pieces. Here's a Honda generator that we bought seven years ago and we have never had to use it. Our power was maybe out for half a day once or twice. We've, uh, we've turned it on, ran it a few times, but it needs to be serviced. More cool items. This is an old soapstone deep sink. And I've got it up on saw horses right now. There's not, it's not plumbed. It drains into that bucket. There's our primary heat source is this old wood burning stove. We have electric registers upstairs. We just never run them. But yeah, there's that. There's the water pump, fairly new or tank. That's a fairly new tank. Pretty good. That's a little bit of leftover wood from last year. Fairly new water heater. It's in good shape. Toboggan. Not everybody has a toboggan. I need to tuck the styrofoam up in there a little bit like that one. See, an actual toboggan. Chainsaw. The old countertops that were going to go upstairs, but they never did. And then that's the way to the First floor, we're gonna, the first floor is where all this stuff that's been piled up in these places for the last eight years has gone. So we'll take pictures of the first floor later. Oh, there you go. There's the cellar, the soft underbelly of the Willow Isle.